Hello, welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to show you how to create avatar poses in Clo 3D. Drawing model poses was one of my weakness. However, it became my favorite thing to do in Clo 3D. Instead of drawing, I can move and adjust avatar's joints to create the pose I want. Like using a figure drawing mannequin. And here is how you do it. I have upload a female avatar. Go to left top toolbar in 3D window. Under avatar display, you will see show avatar joints. You can simply click on it. Or use shortcut shift X to turn on and off the function. After turning on the function, it will bring out the IK window. IK is inverse kinematics. It resembles a wire running through a join chain and enables you to pose the entire joint chain in one action. It will automatically figure out how to move and rotate all the joints in the joint chain. Click show IK joints. You will see four options. First one is edit full body. Click on it. On the avatar, it will display green joints throughout the body. Choose one of the green dots. Click and hold the left key on the mouse. Drag and move the joint. You will see the whole body will move according to the direction that you are dragging the joint to. It would automatically adjust and rotate all the related joints. This definitely makes it easier for beginners to create simple poses. Once you move the joint to the position you want, you can revise the position by clicking on the joint and adjust it with gizmo. By the way, Sometimes it's hard to see when you have both gizmo and x-ray joints display showing at the same time. To make it easier to see the movement. When the gizmo is on. Use shift x to turn off show avatar joints. And you will be able to use gizmo to adjust the joint position with a clear view. The second option is edit body part. This function will only allow you to move section of the body you select. The last two options, they are constrain joint translation and rotation. When you first upload the avatar to the 3D window, if you turn on avatar joints, the two ankle joints has TR sign on them, which means both ankles are locked in translation and rotation. When I use edit full body option and move the avatar around, you can see both ankle joints will not move. Let me unlock the joint translation on one side. And you can see the difference. If I select hip joint and rotate the leg using gizmo. Because the ankles has constrained joint rotation. So the ankle will stay in the same position. Once I unlock the constrained rotation. The ankle will be able to rotate. You can select any of the green joint to lock rotation and translation. When you right click on the joint. Avatar icon will appear. Click on the icon and it will turn blue. This way, when you move one side of the body, the opposite side will move symmetrically. Click again on the avatar icon to exit the function. The last option I am going to show you is to adjust the pose without using IK function. In fact, this is what I prefer to use. When IK function is off, you don't see the green dots to indicate the functional joints. That's because you will be able to move each single joint. 
Click on a point, and use Gizmo to select a color of the direction to rotate joint to your desired direction. This is great to use especially when you are creating a difficult pose and need to move one joint slightly at the time. However, you do need to have a little more patience. Some poses might take a while to adjust and rotate to get to the correct position. It gets better with more practice though. You can even adjust chest position and each finger joints. With the new Clo 3D avatars, you can adjust the eye direction by click on the eyeball. Go to Property Editor. Under Eye Control, you can move them horizontally or vertically. Now you have an idea of how to move and rotate avatar joints. Let me show you how to create a pose from start to finish. For beginners, it will be a good help to have a reference picture. The first pose example. I am going to create the same pose of this simple standing posture with weight distribute on both legs. You can draw some lines on the picture and use them as your guide while moving the joints. Simply draw a center line. Or add joint points and connect them. This way, you can easily tell what direction or angle you need to move and rotate the joint. Once you have more practice, you can skip doing this part. In the 3D window, I have uploaded a new avatar. First, create a rectangle and move it to the back of the avatar. Use graphic tool from 2D window toolbar to upload the pose picture onto the rectangle. Adjust the picture to around the same size as avatar with edit graphic tool. This way you can rotate and move joints to match the pose. Or you can place the photo next to the avatar like what I was doing here. It's all up to your preference. Turn on show avatar joints. Or use shortcut shift X. You can choose to use IK options or without. Or combine both. Play with it and see what works better for you. For this demonstration, I am using without IK option. Adjust the joints to make each part of the avatar body part parallel to the model in the photo. By the way, if you want to use the hand pose from Clo 3D folder, remember to freeze the rectangle piece. Because simulate will be turned on while changing poses. Rotate the avatar to see the pose from different angles and make sure it's not tipping over or unbalance. When you need to adjust arms or legs more than 90 degrees, if you only move one joint, sometimes it will create an unnatural fold on the avatar. Try to use without IK option and move each joint slightly until it reach the desired position. You will have a better result. Once the pose is done, delete the photo and do a final 360 degrees inspection. Make sure no weird angle on any part of the body. Go to Top Window Toolbar. Under File. Click Save as Pose. To make sure your pose is saved correctly, 
you can bring out a different avatar. Go to File. Open Pose to upload the file you just saved. And, the pose looks great on the second avatar as well. If you make any mistake during the process of moving joint, you can use Command Z or Control Z to go back to previous step. Or you can right click on the avatar to reset joints if you like to start over again. Before moving on to the second example, one more thing I want to show you on the waist joint. When you click on it, the selected part will be highlighted as yellow. So when the upper body turns yellow, you can only move and rotate upper body. If the whole avatar turns yellow, then you will be able to move rotate the entire figure. The second pose is slightly complicated because the body weight is on one foot only. I have uploaded the reference photo and placed it behind the avatar. First step. I will select the entire avatar and rotate to the same side as the model in the picture. For this demonstration, I would use both IK and without IK options to move the joints. Usually I like to start with lower body. After adjusting, right-click avatar and choose move avatar to ground. Turn on ground grid to make sure the avatar's feet are on the floor unless you are creating a jumping pose. During the process, I will keep turning the avatar to check the position from different angles to make sure the posture is balanced. Once I am happy with the pose, Save it and double check the file on a different avatar. If everything looks correct, I can use it on the design. Here is the render result. When you create poses, to make it easier, you can go through Clo 3D Pose folder and find a pose that might be close to what you want. Use it as your start point. Especially for like sitting poses. This will save you a few steps. I hope you find this video helpful. Thank you for watching. Please leave your comments to let me know how I can improve my videos. Don't forget to click like and subscribe.